Hey, Kelly Stacks here. And Kurt Sparks here with American Irrigator. Today we're working on a 10 inch RPZ backflow. You see it in this box here? It's pretty big. He's gonna give us a run through of how to work on one of these and then some of the things to look out for and watch out for and think about and do exactly right if you have to take one of these apart. Woo, 10 inch RPZ. So in here, we have big. our number one shut off. So this is your inlet side coming up. So then you have your number one test cock coming in here. You have, you're gonna have your number one check, number two test cock, Second check is going to be right here, number three test cock, and then your outside shut off valve. Yep, yep, shut off valve. So what what we had here first is that we had our relief valve was leaking pretty good. When you, and you read all the manuals, most time if you have a relief valve leaking, it's good. It's most times going to be your number one check. But the easier thing because of being a ten inch is just to take the, take this apart. Maybe it just needs a good cleaning. You never know. It's always a good thing to look at because it taking this apart is a whole nother nightmare. But so we had this leaking. So first we shut it off, we shut off our number two, and then we shut off the main feed, got that off. Then we turned this to relieve some pressure. And then we, we, we went back, got our tools, came back. We got, we got our sensing line off and we got the relief valve off. We noticed that once we get the sensing line off, it was, had some brown gooey come stuff coming out of it. So. We knew we, had, we might have a shot at just cleaning this and it'd be good. So we took it to the truck. We had some Allen wrenches which I've never seen before. We got th that off and got all the seals and everything. It was it was pretty dirty. It was, it was pretty nasty. So when we got all that, we came back, cleaned it all off. We we cleared the sensing line out of, with all that junk get out get out of it. Put it all back together, back on. No leaks. <laughs> good job. <laughs> some of the sensing line thing. What so does that actually that, do? I, I, I believe after four inch, they, they most of the time they're going to go to the sensing line for the re, for the relief valve instead of having just a relief valve dump because it's going to have so much pressure. So they have a sensing line. This is pretty much a relief line. So if any extra pressure after the in between the number one and number two check, you know you have your zone. Any extra pressure is going to sense it and let it. Because I mean there's a there's a extra you have to get. You have to get the manual out. There's a little channel in the zone between here to let it come out. So you uh, okay. So there's a little channel in here to let this out. To, so it pressures up that way, up against the up against it, and then if any extra pressure, it'll let it dump out. Yeah, because I noticed when we turned it back on, because there's a spring that had this yep. down, but when yep. we turned it back on, that's it. Shoop, it yep. went up and yep. so sealed it, off there. It sealed up against that. So in the in actually doing the number of the check valves you'd have to take these big clamps off which obviously the water would be off but take these clamps off relief relieve the pressure there's two big seals right here and then you're going to want to clean this off real good because all that junk and, and anything on this thing because you have to this moves so anything on this it, it'll gum it up and you'll have a nightmare to, to fix so make sure this is really clean real good and lube it up with that it's an fda lubricant that you, you have to use on anything Okay. Take those seals off, and then you're you're gonna want you can use this and this as like a handle, and you kind of rock it and move it, and then you'll see there's a little lip. You want to push this thing all the way to that little lip. Oh wow! And then, and then if you do it, if you lube it up and clean it right, it's it, that not bad. You and you move it, and then there's some there's a, it, they'll have the body will be about halfway up. And you'll have some pieces you can take middle pieces you can take off, and the two checks will be sitting in there. Number one. Number two, then you use a screwdriver to kind of pry them out easily because they're you know, the plastic thing. They can't be stuck. Them out. And then there's a whole process of taking those apart, which is it, it, it is doable for the average guy. I mean, if you're licensed to do it, but it's it's not fun. So, but we got we got lucky. Just had to do that. But it's it's kind of cool working on something different. I, I called Kelly. I was like, hey man, we need we need to do a video on this one. This is not something you see every day. All right, so give us your number one tip if you find yourself having to work on a 10 inch RPZ. Okay, number one is, uh, I got a couple actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go more than one. Okay. Because I, I think, that, you know, the, my main thing is don't don't overthink it. I mean, it's, it's, I know it's 10 inches, you're used to three quarters of one inch or the, you know, the basic ones we always see. Don't freak out. It, it's nothing that you cannot do. Yes, it's something, something you might not have no clue how to do it, 
but there's ways to figure it out. There's manuals. Every manufacturer has to make a manual and there's YouTube videos. Every manufacturer has their, has a YouTube video of how to do this. Just like we're showing you, we're, show, we're getting a YouTube video out of it, manufacturer's gonna do it too. But we, we're showing, they're gonna go through a very much more detailed process, but we're showing you the ins and outs of what we saw and what we did. There you have it from the man himself. <laughs> if you wanna see more stuff on backflows, check out this playlist right here.